In this video I'll show you how calibration works. It's not only about calibrating when the drone is in the air, but also about uh, the factory calibration and uh, how it is important to do it correctly. The factory calibration is important and I would advise to apply factory calibration each time before you fly. And the combination of the buttons for factory calibration is this way. You have to move the joysticks in this direction, in the east-south direction. You will see the LEDs blinking and then they start blinking, which means the calibration is done correctly. It's important to put the drone on a flat surface, otherwise the calibration will be incorrect. Let's see how it flies when we calibrate the drone with factory calibration on a plane surface. Let's start the engines and let's fly up. It still goes forward. It's not calibrated ideally. And you'll have to apply now manual calibration. But let me show what happens when you do the factory calibration incorrectly. And this would explain why sometimes the drone would drift a lot after you unit package it or after the drone was not used for a long time the settings of the drone may get reset and you have to reset it again. Now imagine you put the drone on a sloppy surface and you apply factory calibration. Now let's see whether it will fly or not. Turn on the engines and fly up. And you see it's not even flying. Some electrical motors are not even rotating because the drone has lost its sense of direction. Let's turn it one more time. You see that all motors are rotating but once you try to go up, some of the motors stop working. And this happens because drone thinks that it's one position but now it's in the other position and the sensors get confused. You see, it even so it turns off some of the electrical modules trying to fly up and it can. I even cannot turn it off. This combination of buttons is not working. To do so, I'll have to push the emergency stop button. Keeping it for a few seconds, this one will stop the drone. So imagine the drone sensors got reset and you have to fix them so before you fly you need to apply factory settings and then later you'll have to apply a little bit of a manual calibration while flying so now the calibration settings are bad and we're gonna fix them with factory settings again so we apply again this combination of buttons and now let's see if we can fly now yes it can fly and still some manual calibration is necessary and uh, I'll show you now how to do that and um, when I land I just push the stick down and it now can stop the engines while when the factory settings were applied incorrectly uh, it wasn't even able to turn off the engines because the sensors wouldn't understand the real position of the drone and even when on the ground they wouldn't turn off the engines. Also I'd like to mention one thing that my drone doesn't have any plastic parts that I had before so when I put it on the surface it's not 100% uh, stationed correctly so that's why my drone goes a little bit forward but if you keep all the factory parts that would it would be on the surface in the correct position and would calibrate with factory calibration better than mine. Now I'll show you how to apply the manual calibration. So these are the buttons that we will use. This will be calibrating the drone to the right, this will be calibrating the drone to the left, this will be calibrating the drone backwards and this will be calibrating the drone forward. 
it's important to understand that uh, the calibration uh, will be done strictly to the side where you're doing this. If you're in headless mode, let's say if the drone is this way, normally if you push to the right, when you control the drone, it will go this way. Independently on its position in relation to its axis, it will go right. But when you use calibration, if your drone is in this position and you push the calibration button to the right, it will calibrate this way, to the left this way, and backwards this way, forward this way, even in the headless mode. The headless mode doesn't affect the calibration direction. So the easiest way is to do the calibration not in the headless mode, but in the regular mode. Let's see how we'll do this. My drone is drifting forward. I'll try to stabilize it a little bit now. So, if you have difficulty stabilizing it, you'll need to move the stick around a little bit, the stick, and then use the button to calibrate it. So now I see that it's going a little bit forward and right. So I'll use the right button, the left button. And then back, backwards button. And now it stabilizes, you see, a little bit. Now I'm using the stick again to help me. And now it stabilized there. And now again this. And now it's stabilized. And let me help myself. Raise it a little bit. And show you now how this button works. As I'm too close to the ground, it's not easy to do now. Let me move it up a little bit. So now let's do this. This drone cannot be 100% calibrated because it doesn't have a GPS. But now you can see it's calibrated more or less. And due to different air flows, you can still lose its calibration. So pushing the button. So it's going that way, I put this way, it goes that way. I push the left, it goes left. And I'm helping myself with this stick. But it's always moving, so you can't expect it to be 100% in one position. Now it's moving that way. I will push it this way. It goes backwards, I push it forward. But once you start flying, you don't really start caring about that. You will just will be controlling it with your stick, you know, like this. And let's check the headless mode. If I turn on the headless mode, now I'm in headless mode, and let's see if I turn this this way, I can still fly backwards, but if I push the backwards button, calibration button, what would happen? It should go, now it should go to the right. And yes, it goes to the right. So the calibration buttons do not depend on the headless mode. So the best way is to do the calibration in the regular mode, not in the headless mode. Now I turn on the headless mode. And again. Forward. Forward. Go forward. Forward backwards and it goes backwards left to the left it will go to the left so you do this until you calibrate it correctly and help it help you yourself with this stick <laughs>